Okay, so what we're going to do here is I'm going to show you how to mount up your propeller and stuff. Your motor is going to come with two spacers, depending on which kind of prop you're going to use. This is a direct drive prop. One of them is going to fit in your propeller. It goes in the back, fits tight, and it slips over the end of the motor and it keeps everything nice and flat. Also, you're going to need some kind of bands. Um, if you're using running 3S, Twisted Hobby sells this heavy duty rubber O ring. If you're running a 2S setup, you can uh, run one of these kind of bands. If you're going to switch to 3S, you're out of the thick ones, you can double up. What I like to use is surgical tubing. Uh, basically, this is just a piece of wrist rocket replacement rubber band piece cut into like eighth inch sections. Also, I made this little tool. It's a brass piece of tubing cut off at a bevel like a syringe. And what you do is you just slip this... Uh, you slip the band on the tube like that, right? And this allows you to get on to the motor just like that, real simple. Take your prop, set it up on top like this, and kind of lock it into place, and pull your band around, okay? And slip your tubing. Oh, sorry, guys, you know, this camera makes it hard to get up in there. But you uh, slip your brass tubing over the top screw, and you lift forward like this so everything's up and down so we're over the screw and now you've installed your propeller just with that little tool it works good I want to say thanks to Bill Holmes for showing me that trick with the brass tube anyhow that's how you install your prop now we're going to use our uh, hot glue gun and mount up all of our servos and our ESC and our receiver